In this video, I'm going to explain you an example of uh, QR decomposition of a given matrix. Uh, for the QR decomposition, we first need to apply the GS procedure to find the orthonormal vectors. So let's see what's the question which is given to us. We have been given a matrix A, which is 2, 2, 1 and 3, 4, 1. And I've denoted the columns as A and B. So first we find the first uh, orthonormal vector, which is Q1. And that is nothing but the vector A, which is 2, 2, 1 divided by its length so you can see here that uh, the length of this vector will be root of uh, 4 plus 4 plus 1 which is uh, root 9 which is 3 therefore this you have 1 by 3 because this is the length into the vector which is 2 2 and 1 so i have written this as 2 by 3 2 by 3 and 1 by 3 so the vector q1 is done uh, we don't have to do any process on q1 because there is no previous orthonormal vector now we come to q2 which is nothing but uh, the column of B minus the projection of Q2 on Q1. So that projection we write as B dot Q1 divided by the length of Q1 into Q1. So I'll first find Q2 dash which will be orthogonal but it will not be orthonormal and we'll then later after finding Q2 dash orthonormalize it. So Q2 dash I'll first plug in the value of B which is 341 minus b dot q1 so once you find the dot product of uh, 3 4 1 b with the q1 you'll get 2 plus 8 by 3 plus 1 by 3 the length of q1 itself once you find is 1 therefore this ratio multiplied with the q1 which is 2 by 3 2 by 3 and 1 by 3 therefore this becomes 3 4 1 minus this value and once you subtract the value becomes minus 1 by 3 2 by 3 and minus 2 by 3 However, as I told you, this is not orthogonal, so we need to, this is not orthonormal, so we need to orthonormalize it. So the way to do it is find Q2, which is nothing but Q2 dash, which we have found divided by the length of Q2 dash. Once you do that, the answer turns out to be minus 1 by 3, 2 by 3, 2 by 3. Now, how can we check that the, our answers are right? If you find, if you want to find Q1 perpendicular Q2, multiply the 2. Once you do that, you get minus 2 by 9 plus 4 by 9 minus 2 by 9, and that answer is zero therefore our orthonormal vectors are correct uh, now let's move to the second part where a is equal to qr so i'm going to multiply both sides by q transpose so q transpose a becomes equal to q transpose q into r uh, since uh, q is uh, an orthogonal orthonormal uh, orthogonal matrix q transpose q just becomes an identity matrix and that multiplied with r is nothing but r therefore r becomes Therefore, R becomes nothing but Q transpose A. So, Q, we first write Q, which is nothing but uh, the two uh, orthonormal vectors which we have found. So, the first column will be 2 by 3, 2 by 3, 1 by 3. And the second column uh, will be minus 1 by 3, 2 by 3, minus 2 by 3. So, now we find the transpose of Q. So, this column becomes the first row and this column becomes the second row. This will be Q transpose. Multiply Q transpose with A. So this is Q transpose and this is A. Once you multiply, you, that value will be equal to R. So R and these values will just turn out to be 3, 5, 0, 1. And uh, if you now mark uh, the main diagonal, which consists of 3 and 1, you can see that this becomes an upper triangular matrix. Therefore, our value of R is 